All right, let's talk about the emerging brands and kind of when you go into a company that um, maybe they just got a, a round of funding or they're positioned now to grow and they're out, they have a great shopping list of what they want in, in their executive level office. What are some of the things that you do to kind of establish with that brand to make sure they are a good fit for you know your clients being the executives that might be out there looking for uh, you know the right the right match yeah paul i always say this that on paper every job looks the same the reality is if you look at the discipline whether it be operations or marketing or hr uh, that on paper it all looks the same i mean there there's absolutely um I think in assessment of skill set, but most important, it, it's actually the cultural fit, you know, when you look mm -hmm. at the existing team. And so I can tell you that my team and I, we were actually just out in New Orleans in Baton Rouge last week for an immersion with a group where, um, I mean, this is an incredible, incredible group of leaders that have, it's their first time kind of going out and finding uh, an executive from the outside. And, you know, understanding what has worked for their culture is so important to them right that we spent two full days with them and i think that oftentimes what, what's happening is look they everybody wants the unicorn we get this asked right. all the time it's like hey i'm looking for the purple unicorn and we want these 25 things and what we find ourselves doing is like asking the questions to make sure we understand one, like what's the non-negotiable, right? And and sometimes, to be honest, you know, we find that the clients are looking to us to be able to have some of those answers because we've seen the movie before. And so, right. you know, we're, we're kind of assessing, asking the right questions, understanding the existing dynamics of that team, because this is where the match comes in. Just because a person, you know, it's a CMO position, um, it's not equal across all brands, de depending on where they are in that growth you know, um, in that life cycle of growth for them themselves. Yeah, I could see that being, you know, a big factor is just, you know, once you do get the match in there, I, I like the approach with culture because that usually is the mismatch um, that occurs at least when, you know, I've worked and talked with so many executives in the uh, restaurant space and you can kind of know when there's a fish out of water, uh, so to speak. It stands and, out. <laughs> and, yeah, it does. And, and it, you know, I often, you know, I'm pretty good at calling the, you know, CEOs out, you know, in the sense of like whether or not they're going to make it in that organization. And you'll see a pretty quick movement in, you know, a CEO jumping from one place to the other, which is uh, kind of brings me to this next question. And that's when when you are put in this position, you've been downsized, all those kind of scenarios that, you know, right now you're just you're kind of reassessing. How do you go about making sure that you've connected with the right people over your career. And because like, for instance, if I were to give, uh, you know, a new brand leader, uh, you know, a roster of references that maybe were, I won't say old guard, but maybe were casual dining. And I was, you mm -hmm. know, trying to do something in fast casual. Do, do you see that mismatch or are you trying to, do you coach your 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 uh, partners up on making sure that the references or and or the partners that they've worked with are selectively uh, picked so that it aligns well with the emerging brand that you might be working with? Yeah, that's really interesting. Um, you know, not, not necessarily. I think what we do do though is, you know, as we're looking at, people don't realize that we, meaning my team and I, we are at the intersection of information. <laughs> and, you know, honestly, that we understand because we've actually likely talked to people who have worked alongside of, worked mm -hmm. with, worked for. And I do, I do think that people need to have a very realistic um, preview on what their strengths and opportunities are. Because, you know, again, Nobody's uh, great at all things. And I think, you know, sometimes there, there are people out there that are great turnaround executives. They are. That is what they do. They do it really well. Uh, and then there are minded um, leaders. And those people have been in growth settings where they've actually scaled. Um, I think, you know, oftentimes when I'm talking to executives, I find that they're not Sure, like they want to be in growth, let's say, uh, when really their skill set is, I mean, more suited for a, a turnaround scenario. And so I, I think it's less about like who are you putting down as references and maybe a little bit more, again, kind of reflection on where am I my best? Where have I made the greatest impact? Right. And who are those people, you know, that I've touched along the way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that approach for sure.